Hello and welcome to the American Sim Racing Championship V-Speed Challenge. We're here tonight for round number six from Martinsville. It's gonna be 75 lap event here. And uh, we look forward to another great race from these drivers. Uh, we come into tonight's event with Jamie Christensen, your points leader, uh, five points ahead of second place, Josh Bonwell, who does not look to be in the field here tonight. So he's gonna lose out uh, on potentially um, taking over a points lead with a, with a run here tonight, but uh, Christensen looking like he'll be in good shape to hold on to that, but it looks like he is struggling here in the practice session. Only a couple minutes left. Justin McDuff currently fastest on the charts uh, with a lap time of 19.751, but Chris Samard basically the exact same time must just be uh, a thousand or ten thousandth off. As you can see, they're scoring showing exactly the same time. And uh, pardon me if I take a couple breaks uh, at different points throughout the race. I do have a bit of a sore throat and uh, a sickness going on here. So I'm going to try and make it through the best that I can. Uh, it will be a short race here tonight, so hopefully I won't have to take any breaks. Uh, but if you hear silence for a moment, uh, I have stepped away for just a second, but uh, Chris Stump comes in uh, with a bunch of solid runs in the last few races, and uh, we look forward to seeing what he can do tonight. Currently third on the charts. Brian Hacker looks to be a newcomer to the league here, and uh, currently fourth on the board, so uh, looks like he has some speed in that number 11 uh, Super Late model. AJ Hamill, another strong runner the last few weeks. Uh, I believe he has two second place finishes in a row and Chris Stump two third places in a row. Uh, he's currently sitting fifth on the charts right now. So we are under a minute left in practice session. Austin Thiel uh, making another appearance here in the series. Sixth on the board. Mike Holtzclaw going back out to try and get a couple laps in before we finish the session. Uh, he's seventh, Keith Dunn is eighth. Uh, Scott Yost looks to be a new driver to the league as well. Currently ninth on the boards. Just a few tenths off. Stephen Parks uh, sitting back here in 11th. Mitchell Rounds uh, did put a lap time in. I don't see him in the server at the moment. But we'll see if he loads back in before the race session starts. But uh, we want to thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, to V-Speed, we are live right now on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, we really appreciate the support of you tuning in and watching tonight's stream. If you like what you see and you enjoy the broadcast, please hit the like button down below or follow, subscribe, comment, uh, whatever you'd like to do on the platform that you are watching. You can also follow us over on Facebook at facebook.com slash vspeedsim uh, or check out our website vspeedsim.com to uh, learn more about what we're doing and uh, see our announcements for various races coming up here on the channel. And everybody is gritting up. Steven Parks, I believe, will be starting on the pole based on last week's finish. So uh, we'll give you a rundown of where your favorite driver is going to be starting in tonight's event. Steven Parks going to be rolling off in first. Jamie Christensen, your points leader, uh, coming into tonight's race, going to be starting in second. AJ Hamill going to be starting in third with Chris Samard, who's outside in fourth. Justin McDuff is going to be rolling off in fifth. Chris Stump is going to be starting on his outside in sixth. In seventh, it's going to be Brian Hacker, a newcomer here. And Keith Dunn going to be rolling off in eighth to his outside. Scott Yost starting uh, in ninth position in that number 71 Super Late model. And to his outside, Mike Holtzclaw in that number 22. Mitchell Rounds uh, did not take the grid here, so uh, I'm not sure what uh, if he's going to be making the race at all tonight. But uh, he would be scheduled to start in 11th. Austin Deal going to be starting shotgun on the field uh, in 12th position. But uh, looks like he'll probably inherit 11th on the initial start here. So Stephen Parks looking to have a solid run here tonight. He needs to uh, make, some, make up some points. He is, I believe, in the top five, but uh, needs to... Uh, Gained quite a bit of ground on Jamie Christensen. 
uh, AJ Hamill and Josh Bonwell. And with Bonwell being out, that may be to the benefit of his teammate there in the number 42 of Parks. So we'll see uh, what happens when things shake out after tonight's race. Right now, the pace car is just bringing them down the backstretch. I believe they're going to get going green this time. Pace car dives down into pit road. It's going to be Parks and Christensen on the front row here. Going to have to wait for the green flag. No, Parks gets them going early, just uh, jumps right at the uh, exit of the corner and uh, really overshoots turn one. That allows Christensen to the inside and uh, lead change already. It's Jamie Christensen, your points leader, takes over the lead. AJ Hamill now to the inside of Stephen Parks and uh, looking to take that position and he will, securing second place. And that allows Gus McDuff to peek the nose down inside of the 42. And the inside line is definitely the way to go at this track. Um, the outside line is tough. You, really just get shuffled back by uh, running up there. Um, and later in the run, I think you can maybe work up there to try and hold someone off, but uh, it is hard to make up any kind of ground. As Chris Stump works his way past uh, Parks and up into fourth position, Steve Parks still up high, working now next to uh, Scott Yosin at 71. So Parks all the way from first to eighth in the first three laps. And Try and drop in line here in front of Austin Thiel, possibly. It looks like Thiel's going to get the nose in there. And uh, Parks will continue his fall. Everybody pretty much in line uh, at this point, and uh, we'll see how the tires wear here tonight. Drivers are not allowed to take any kind of any tires throughout the uh, event. They are allowed to take fuel. But uh, that is the only thing that they can add or change on their vehicle. We'll see if uh, added fuel later on in the race changes the balance of the car or uh, you know, has any effect on the handling. The 42 Stephen Parks now getting passed up by Austin Deal. Deal completing the pass finally. That moves him up into eighth position. Stephen Parks back into ninth. Jamie Christensen still holding on to the lead six laps into this event. He's led every lap so far as they come across the start finish line to in lap number seven. AJ Hamill in close tow behind the number nine. And it looks like the top four have kind of broken away. Small gap to Brian Hacker and Chris Samard as Samard peeking down low. Hacker sliding up the track just a little bit. Take a look at our uh, weather conditions here. It's 71 degree air temp, but 93 degree track temp, which means there probably won't be a lot of grip on the surface here tonight. Looks like we have a battle going on back here between Scott Yost and Stephen Parks. Austin Thiel was able to get by the 71 of Yost, and Yost now shuffled to the outside. We can see the 22 of Mike Holt's claw has heavy damage on the nose of that car. Not sure what happened there, who he got into. Uh, but definitely heavy contact made at some point in the race already. As he peeks now to the inside of Stephen Parks, but Parks slams the door. You know, three. Keith Dunn running a little bit wide behind them, not able to take advantage of that block. Amy Christensen now stretching it out to six tenths over AJ Hamill, who had closed in, but uh, does not appear to have the speed at the moment to uh, keep up with the number nine. And Justin McDuff now closing in on Hamill. Uh, about equal spacing between second, third, and fourth as Hamill uh, checks up a little bit on the entrance of turn number one there, allowing Duff to close the gap, but uh, extends it back out after turn two. And a lot of the action is actually towards the back here. Stephen Parks uh, battling with Mike Holtzclaw. You can see Holtzclaw gets a good run out of the corner now out of turn four and can try and take that position going down into turn number one. 22 goes in low. Parks up high, trying to hold him off. Sorry about that, just have a little bit of a cough forming, and it uh, looks like Parks not able to hold off the 22 of Holt's Claw. Not even able to stay alongside, but he tried to peek down low again. It makes contact. 22 able to keep the car straight. That's going to check up the 03 of Keith Dunn now and allow Scott Yost to 
peek down low, but they straighten it out. Everybody back single file. And it looks like Austin Deal has caught up to the back bumper of Chris Samard. So now it's four cars up in the front, then we have three cars in the middle, and then uh, four cars towards the back all in line as well. So kind of three small packs forming early in this race. You see Stephen Parks drift up the track just a little bit once again. That allows the 03 of Dunn to close in. Already one-fifth of the way through the event here, so uh, really moving quickly through the laps as Jamie Christensen has led every single one so far. Like Hamill with a little bit of trouble or maybe Justin McDuff trying to try or trying to uh, work on a different approach to the entry of the corner as he went quite a bit higher than the 18. To potentially get to his outside, didn't work this lap, but uh, we'll see if he tries it again. He does go high. Now let's get a better view of this. So he's trying to cut it down and get a straighter run off the corner, but uh, not working just yet in the early stages of this race. Maybe gonna have to wait till the tires wear out a little bit later. Chris Smart now putting the 11 under fire and uh, gets the nose in there going into turn one, able to keep it down on the low line. Good job not sliding up into the 11. As Smart now side by side, nose to nose going into turn number three. The 11 of Hacker currently has the spot, but uh, Samard now puts the nose out in front. Not able to get the power down the way he'd like, though, and the 11 powers back to the outside. They make contact going down into the corner, and the 11 of Brian Hacker up into the wall. Not going to be happy about that, I'm sure, but uh, look to be just racing contact. The 11 maybe a little bit loose under braking. Uh, seems to have come down a little bit into Chris Samard. Uh, let's actually go back and take a look at this uh, once again. You can see the 11 uh, trying to make an entry to the corner, maybe didn't realize how close Chris was, uh, they, but they just kind of come together. I can't really blame anybody for that incident. Uh, but uh, words will probably be exchanged at some point, either now or later, as AJ Hamill takes the lead from Jamie Christensen, just dive bombs it down into turn one, and Christensen gives it up without a fight. Now that kind of stacks up third and fourth of McDuff and Chris Stump. And this battling has not really helped out the guys behind. There's still three seconds back of your leader, Chris Samard leading this three car pack. And Brian Hacker with damage currently in seventh. Mike Holtzclaw trying to get away from Stephen Parks and the, uh, the rest of the drivers in the field. He's trying to catch up to the back bumper of the 11, but it's quite a ways to go. Uh, almost three seconds separating those two. As now a battle uh, brewing for third and fourth, Chris Stump able to work his way past Jamie Christensen uh, and uh, Justin McDuff also worked his way past. Christensen looking back to the inside, not gonna have the position to uh, make a run for it. And now the upstate racing league drivers find themselves, find themselves in the top three. It's Hamill, McDuff, and Chris Stump. Familiar faces towards the front of the pack. And they've had speed in every race that they've uh, shown up at. Not a surprise to see them doing well out here at the paper clip. And if you're not familiar with Martinsville, uh, it's definitely one of my favorite tracks. A lot of drivers love this place. Um, it's known for its beating and banging, but it's also a very technical track. Uh, it's very flat in the corners, very long straightaways. Uh, you've really got to prepare yourself well for entry and then manage the throttle on exit. Um, definitely one of the most difficult tracks on the NASCAR circuit, but uh, often produces great racing. And uh, I've been witness to a lot of um, crucial finishes in the last uh, few years of the fall races here at Martinsville. And uh, definitely a fun time down there in the Blue Ridge Mountains uh, each and every year. So if you haven't been to Martinsville, you can check it out. Uh, great racing every year. And they've got night racing coming up uh, next season, I believe. So you 
AJ Hamill currently leading out in front of Justin McDuff and Chris Stump. Those three have broken away now from Christensen. Uh, Chris Samard back under fire now. Austin Thiel, the one putting pressure on him this time. Uh, really dives it down in there in turn one. Samard gives him room, doesn't close the door, and Thiel's going to have a good run coming out of turn number two. We'll see what kind of a run he can get down into three as Samard really dives it in there but not able to keep the momentum on that high side. But fights him off for the moment. The uh, 009 very aggressive this season and uh, puts the nose back in there once again. And they're side by side, nose to nose, going down into three. Austin Thiel, the advantage temporarily, but Samard really tries to carry the speed up high. Not going to work for him this time as Austin Thiel takes that position, moving up into the top five. Samard back to sixth. So he gets nudged out of the way by the 11 of Brian Hacker. Maybe a little payback. The earlier contact, Samard able to keep it off the wall, but had to lock up the brakes there as we saw the smoke. So a little bit of drama right now at the paperclip. Tempers running high, patience wearing thin already. So we are approaching halfway in this event. So uh, if you're tuned in here on V-Speed to the American Sim Racing Championship V-Speed Challenge, uh, comment down below who your favorite driver is or who you think is going to win tonight's event. We will try and keep track of whoever you uh, type in down there. See if we've got any battles going on towards the back. It looks like even Parks in front of Mike Holtzclaw and Keith Dunn. These three really inseparable throughout the entire race. Um, they have closed up on each other quite a bit. It's the 22 making a move once again out of turn four. Gets the run to the inside of Stephen Parks. Parks slams the door going down into one. You can see the brakes lock up there on the 22 of Holtzclaw. Trying to avoid Stephen Parks. These drivers uh, quite a ways back. Uh, currently 10 seconds back from your leader. Stephen Parks really struggling with the exit of turn four though. You can see them kind of drift up a little bit. Uh, maybe just a little too early in the throttle as we see the 03 of Keith Dunn trying to make a move to the outside of the 22 of Holtz Claw. Not able to get it done this time. Let's take a look a little farther up. Austin Thiel has gotten away from Brian Hacker and Chris Samard giving that number 11 plenty of space. And uh, just trying to uh, run a nice smooth race from here on out, I think. Jamie Christensen has really lost uh, the drive that he had earlier. Uh, as he led 20 laps here, the first 20 laps of the race, but to lost the lead to AJ Hamill, who has since driven away with his teammates, Justin McDuff and Chris Stump. Those drivers uh, about three seconds ahead of Christensen now. See the gap quite a ways back to Christensen, and uh, it's very difficult to make up three seconds at this place. Uh, but there are is half the race left to do it, so it's got time if he can figure something out. You can see how Lucy is on entry as Thiel now closing in. It's going to be the 9 versus the 009 here in just a couple laps, I think. And Chris Smart starting to close back in on Brian Hacker. We're going to keep an eye up towards the front because this seems to be our best battle on track. Justin McDuff. Trying to chase down his teammate there, but not really making up any ground, and Chris Stump all over his back bumper. So possibly doing a bit of mirror driving to protect the position and not really doing uh, the driving out the windshield. See Hamill starting to struggle a little bit with uh, drifting up the track. He's looking for his first win of the season. Justin McDuff drifts up and turns one and two, able to uh, close the door as Chris Stump brushes the wall coming out of turn two. And this is a great battle. Uh, we can see a few different lines and approaches to the corners from each of these drivers. AJ Hamill kind of running middle entry. It looks like McDuff a little bit of a lower entry. And then Chris Stump uh, trying to diamond the corner a little bit more. Uh, nothing really uh, giving any of these drivers an advantage 
at the moment. 42 laps into the event. Jamie Christensen now under fire from the 009 of Austin Field. And it looks like Christensen really struggling now with rear end grip as the 009 puts the nose down low. I think Christensen's probably gonna give him plenty of room. He's been very respectful all season. And uh, has that has resulted in lots of solid finishes and even a win here so far this season. So uh, side by side now out of turn number two, Christensen on the outside and Austin Deal pushing him right up against that outside wall. Deal to the low line now in three and four. Christensen still side by side. And uh, the nine currently in fourth position but washes up the track just a bit too much there in turn one. And that allows Austin Thiel to slide on by, but he tags the wall. Here comes Christensen back behind, almost getting into the bumper, maybe a little bit of contact as Thiel, struggling with the entry to turn three, rides the curb, able to keep it straight and out of the wall. But uh, not gonna help him in his pursuit of the leaders as he's currently six seconds back with about 30 to go in tonight's race. So gonna be Yeoman's work to get up there as we still got this battle going on towards the back. Stephen Parks, Mike Holtzclaw, and Keith Dunn battling it out for 8th through 10th. And just like the front three, we see completely different approaches from each of these drivers as they enter the corners. Nobody really with an advantage, but we have seen Stephen Parks struggle on the back end of the track coming into turns three and four. See if he can do it this time by. He can hold on to it and keep up his momentum. You can see he drifts up in the center, trying to dive in the corner in the 22 with a great run that time through. Gets right up behind Parks and on the brakes early. Not sure what that was, maybe just trying to get a better run out as Parks tags the wall. That allows Holtzclaw to get to his back bumper. You can see the leaders in the distance starting to close in, so it's go time for these guys to try and stay on the lead lap. Scott Yost just up in front of the leaders. Really in danger of losing a lap. AJ Hamill just about a second or two behind. Not even as Hamill washes up the track, that allows Justin McDuff to close up the gap. He's right on the back bumper of the number 18. Hamill to the uh, inside. Drifts up once again. Steven Parks now taking him down pit road. And uh, perhaps these drivers cannot make it on fuel. Parks the only one on pit road. Here comes Hamill now out of turn two. Who's the next taker to pit road? And 71 of Scott Yost, uh, now directly in front of Hamill. Hamill to the inside, here comes McDuff behind him along with Chris Stump. Uh, Stump gonna get held up just a tiny bit from trying to work past the 71, but the front two able to stay nose to tail to work down into turns three and four. Approaching 20 laps to go, Stephen Park still on pit road, used his fast repair, maybe filled up with fuel with a 17.4 second stop. Uh, currently two laps down, Scott Yost uh, one lap down after getting passed by the leaders, but everyone else on the lead lap at the moment. As these la leaders battling it out, almost a bit of contact. You can see McDuff starting to get a bit frustrated with Hamill, his teammate there. And both of these drivers looking for their first win of the season. Chris Stump uh, took the first win of the year. And so he already has one on the season. Really good battle going on at the front as we are now at 20 laps to go. I don't see anybody else on pit road, so when do the leaders make their way down or do they have to stop at all? And you can see the line has shifted up the track. These drivers are working more of the middle line versus that low line. 
Chris Stump working a higher entry. Justin McDuff trying to diamond it a little bit. He's right on the back bumper. It's, Hamill gets very loose. That allows the 20 to the outside, down into turns three and four. Hamill really bombs it in there, but here comes McDuff now to the inside crossover. Now on the inside going down into turn number one. Who's got the advantage? Can McDuff pull off the pass? I think the line has shifted up and there's not a lot of rear end grip. Can he keep the throttle down? And Hamill able to power back on that outside line, holds him off for the moment. Here comes Chris Stump now to the outside of his teammate in that number 98, McDonald's. Toyota Camry, super late model. Here comes uh, McDuff back on the inside though, a little bit hard into the corner. You can see the lockup in that left front. He's able to uh, pull off the pass and Stump backs out of it. And they straighten it back out to where they were before all that got started. And, uh, just trying to see who else is in jeopardy. Uh, Holt Squat, Keith Dunn, uh, just about four seconds in front of your leaders as they continue to battle. McDuff now struggling a little bit with rear end grip. You saw him wiggle there coming out of turn two. Coming to 15 laps to go this time by. Austin Thiel has not been able to close in and is now back under pressure by Jamie Christensen and Brian Hacker and Chris Samard. Uh, bringing it down pit road now. Hopefully made the commitment box. But he will be your second taker to pit road. Samard just uh, working past the start finish line, going one lap down now. AJ Hamill still holding off Dustin McDuff and Chris Stump, but can they make it on fuel is the question. Really closing in on the final stages of this race. Chris Samard rolling back out of pit road. He's going to be two laps down as the leaders just go by right now. Even Parks just in front of them. So almost three laps down for Parks. We'll have to see if he pulls anything to try and make up some track position. But uh, we're closing in quickly on 10 to go. And the three leaders really duking it out here but I think they still have to make a pit stop and uh, I don't know what the strategy call is gonna be. The only two to come down so far have been Samard and Parks and Samard's stop 12 seconds faster than Steven Parks. He just took fuel and maybe just a splash to make it to the end. I think we maybe saw another driver. Does not look like it. But your leader's closing in rapidly on the next lap cars. That's going to be Mike Holtzclaw and Keith Dunn. Dunn uh, actually headed into turn number one. And Stephen Parks also in the mix there as we are at 10 to go now. AJ Hamill under heavy fire. Justin McDuff getting loose out of the corner. That allows Stump to get by, but uh, Justin McDuff slams the inside wall and uh, losing a ton of ground late in the going here. Not going to have a shot to win it unless you get a caution. As uh, Stephen Parks just goes up the track to allow the leaders on by, he's going to go three laps down now. AJ Hamill works his way to, uh, along the low side with Chris Stump in tow. Only a handful of laps remaining, and uh, we've only seen two drivers make pit stops. I don't know if uh, they were just worried about fuel and it was going to be close, but apparently the leaders have not made their stop, maybe hoping for a caution in the final laps. AJ Hamill just about a half car length in front of Chris Stump, putting a ton of pressure on him. Justin McDuff now almost three seconds back uh, with heavy right front damage. He works to the inside of Stephen Parks. Out of contention here uh, for the moment. Austin Thiel, 7.8 back. Brian Hacker works his way into the top five in that number 11 after the early contact with Chris Samard. But uh, we're going to keep an eye on this front battle for the next uh, few laps, hopefully until the finish. And uh, we'll try and keep an eye and see if anybody makes their way down pit road. AJ Hamill, six to go now. Chris Stump working to the inside, trying to get the power down. You can see the back end wiggle. It's side by side for the lead. Coming to five to go this time by AJ Hamill working up high. Chris Stump trying to make the pass down low. Not giving a lot of room to his teammate up there. But uh, the same goes for Hamill, not giving a lot of room down low as they make contact in one and two. Stump able to pull ahead. AJ Hamill not going to be happy about that. We'll see if he repays the favor here. They 
work their way through three and four, five to go, coming to four to go this time. And Chris Stump has now uh, separated himself by about two car lengths. AJ Hamill not able to close back in after the slight contact. We've seen Hamill lose one of these races late and it looks like it might be another case of that unless he can pull something out of the hat here. Going to three to go this time by. But he has lost a little bit more ground that time by about a tenth slower than your leader, Chris Stump. And uh, just uh, so we do a quick recap before we finish up, zero cautions here tonight and just the two lead changes. Currently the leader is Chris Stump, who's had uh, a bunch of great races so far this year. And currently separating himself from his teammate AJ Hamill. Four tenths the difference in lap times that time by. Chris Stump really out in front now, almost a second the gap between those two as McDuff now starting to close in on Hamill. And Chris Stump takes the white flag in that number 98 McDonald's. Toyota Camry well, uh, about a second behind by his teammate AJ Hamill, who is just going to come up a little bit short once again. Stump working his way through three and four. He's going to win round number six of the V Speed Challenge here for the American Sim Racing Championship. Winner tonight at Martinsville Speedway. Congratulations to Chris on this victory. AJ Hamill just coming up a little bit short once again, finishing second, and Justin McDuff finishing third. So it's going to be an upstate racing league. Uh, teammates, one, two, three, finish. A good run by those guys. Austin Thiel holds on for fourth. Brian Hacker rounds out the top five. So we're going to cut quickly to a commercial break and be right back with our driver interviews. All right, and we are back. We're going to be bringing up our winner here tonight, Chris Stump, leading the last six laps. Chris Stump, this is Adam in the V-Speed booth. You got a copy? Hey, Chris, this is Adam in the V-Speed booth. You got a copy? We'll give Chris just a second here. Get him to uh, on his mic. We're going to actually jump to our second place finisher then, uh, as I believe he may be in at his mic. AJ Hamill, this is Adam in the booth. You got a copy? audio from these guys. Let's try our third place finisher, Justin McDuff. Hey Justin, this is Adam in the V-Speed booth. You got a copy?
Yeah, I got you. Sorry, I had uh, mic issues there. Hey, no problem. <laughs> I'm just uh, I was scrambling. I wasn't able to hear from uh, any of you guys, so I was just hoping that uh, it wasn't on my end. But uh, Justin, you were in uh, contention pretty much all night here, and uh, a little bit of uh, contact, uh, you know, sent you back uh, to a, a third, a kind of a distant third place finish in the end. But uh, kind of give me the rundown on the race here tonight and uh, how things went from your perspective. Yeah, I, uh, I felt like I had a shot there. Uh, there wasn't any contact. I actually just lost it. I was trying to get all I could and hoping if I played it just right, I'd get a run on AJ. He started getting a little loose off of two, it looked like. And I was hoping I was getting really good drive off compared to him, but I just couldn't complete the pass. I didn't get underneath him one time there. And then I just kind of crossed the line and slid down to the inside, but I, I tapped the wall a little bit, but was able to keep going and brought it home in third. So disappointed i hate when i make mistakes like that dumb mistakes but i was going for it yeah and you still come away with a nice solid uh third place finish but uh we saw you get to the back bumper of aj uh were you planning on trying to pull the bump and run in the closing laps there um if it would have came down to it i think i might have tried to you know kind of just push him up the track a little bit i wasn't gonna swat him out of the way i would have at least made sure i gave him a shot to get back <laughs> To race me to the line if i was going to do that you know because he's my teammate him and chris both so um i know they they kind of rubbed a little bit there i i uh as awful as to say I, a little bit part of me was hoping that i'd get another shot if they would you know slip up or something and i could uh get back up there and race with them but it was a lot of fun yeah you guys definitely put on a great show and uh, really separated yourselves from the uh, the rest of the drivers here tonight um it was a seven second gap back to fourth place so uh, you guys obviously had something uh, that uh, the other drivers did not have figured out. Um, but uh, a great run from you guys here tonight. I'm going to take a look at the schedule and see where we're going next week. Uh, but uh, all right, we're going to Oxford Plains. Uh, I don't know if you've ever raced out there, but uh, if so, what are your thoughts? I've never been there in a super late model, but I've been there in the late model stock a bunch of times. Uh, it's not really my favorite track. I, I've i struggled there in the past, but um, I mean, it's a different car. So we'll see. I don't think I've been in there with anything other than the late model. So we'll see what happens when we get there. I'm sure it's going to be a handful. It always is at Oxford. It seems like the slower you drive, the faster you go. It's one of those tracks. So it'll be fun. Yeah, it should be an uh, interesting battle. I'm not uh, too familiar with the track myself, but uh, you guys have been putting on great shows here recently. So uh, look forward to seeing you put up another great run. Uh, I believe this is your second or third consecutive... Okay, your second consecutive top three. Um, so a couple great runs here in the last couple weeks. Um, how does that momentum work for you uh, going into next week? Oh, um, it's nice. I like to win, obviously, but... Um, you know, it, 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 the thing is, I, I kind of like the invert because it mixes things up and you have the guys who ran well the prior week, they have to, uh, you know, start from the back and really work to get back up to the front there the next race. And especially a track like Oxford, that could be really interesting because that's one of those tracks that's usually uh, track position heavy until you get long into a run and then the tires are to give up a lot more. Yeah, so that should make for a pretty interesting kind of back and forth, maybe some comers and goers um, as the run goes on. So. Uh, something to look forward to, I guess, next week. And uh, before we let you go to celebrate this top three finish, um, once again, uh, anybody you want to give a shout out to? Yes, yeah, so I thank Steve for uh, putting this on, and uh, you for doing the broadcast and V Speed. Um, you do a great job, and Arts Barbershop and Rumar Vinyl Designs, and uh, my teammates AJ and Chris. It was a ERT sweep of the top three tonight, so that's pretty. Yeah, I think that might be two weeks in a row. I'm going to have to double check. Uh, no, Chris Samard broke up the sweep last week, but uh, you guys have had some great runs. So uh, congratulations on that top three and uh, go celebrate. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. So that was third place finisher Justin McDuff. Let's, uh, let's see where our second place finisher is here. If we can pull him up into the booth. AJ Hamill, this is Adam Baker in the V-Speed booth. You got a copy? I do. Well, we finally got a hold of you. Sorry, uh, I couldn't grab you a little bit earlier. I think you guys had stepped away just after the finish. But uh, AJ, you led 
the most laps here. Um, I think this is the second time this season that uh, you kind of got kind of nudged out of the way in the closing laps of the race. Uh, was there anything that you could do to, to hold off Chris there in those closing laps? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the second time with five to go. Um, I, you know, when you got two of your best eye buds behind you and you run so many laps with them, you know, they're not going to do anything dirty on purpose, but you also know that they're better, uh, or at least looking a little quicker. Um, and you keep waiting, waiting, beer driving. And when Justin got sideways, I, like, Oh, here comes Chris. And all of a sudden I can't slow the car down anymore. And I just lost all grip in the center. And I don't think uh, the bump made much difference. Obviously it ended a little quicker, less, less interesting TV, but, um, I think he finally found something down low that he could get a grip. And I guess I only had 70 laps worth of tires. <laughs> yeah, we saw um, drivers start to struggle. I think around the halfway point, we saw you drivers really fade, uh, you know, towards the back. Um, and, it, and you guys started to work that second groove, uh, which made it interesting, kind of opened up the bottom. And that's where we saw Chris. Uh, it looked like he diamond and got underneath you and uh, eventually made contact. But... Uh, definitely a great battle from you three up front. Uh, was what was different that uh, allowed uh, you teammates to be able to separate yourself uh, from the rest of the field tonight? Um, I don't know. Um, experience, luck, um, <laughs> a little combination of both, maybe. I know Justin and I were in a different league practice last Thursday here and put a lot of laps down. I was surprised a couple names I thought would be a little closer, even though they had to start out back. It was weird track conditions uh, that like you were talking about the bottom though i felt like the engine was going to shut off because uh, <laughs> it lost so many rpms uh, that's why we started working that high high low kind of groove you know high entry low exit okay yeah that's definitely different i've never heard the the rpms being so low that uh, it feels like the car is <laughs> going to shut off but uh, i guess it makes sense you, you do lose a lot of momentum by trying to run around the curb down there and, uh, yeah, and it's, it was just no grip by halfway, just uh, too too hot. Yeah, 93 degree track temp uh, at certain points in this race definitely makes it uh, slick conditions out there. But uh, you guys had pretty good handle on it. We only saw a couple slips, um, one from Justin. We saw you uh, kind of slip up the track a couple times, but recover nicely. And uh, anyways, you come away with second place finish. I believe this is your third in a row, if I'm not mistaken. So. Um, Still three out of four. <laughs> okay. Last week was four. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you've been consistent, um, you know, the, this mid part of the season, and uh, we're headed over to Oxford uh, next week. What are your thoughts on going out there? <laughs> <laughs> um, not my favorite place. I, I've found a way to finish uh, in a regular light model. I don't know if I run a super light model, so I'm gonna have to put some laps down before that. And, Unfortunately, I'm going to have to miss the following race because I'll literally be 50 miles from Oxford uh, in, in the real world. So, I don't know what that does to the points. I think Jamie and I are pretty tight right now and Chris has got to be closing. And should be interesting if, if we all can show up. And, uh, yeah, Oxford next week is going to be, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's across my fingers. Yeah, I think with tonight's finish, you should be pretty close to inheriting the points lead. Uh, you guys both led laps here. I'm not totally sure. It might actually end up being a tie uh, the way it's looking. So uh, either way, you, you definitely made a name for yourself so far here throughout the season. And uh, you've put up some great finishes recently. So we look forward to another strong run. Uh, even if you don't like the track, I think you'll probably find your way towards the front. So uh, before we let you go tonight, anybody you want to give a shout out to that uh, makes this second place possible? Yeah, the two guys around me who complained and moaned all day about having to drive in martinsville um, and then you know drove on my bumper the entire race um i'll do the same to them next week uh, always good to have the the team as much as you can on the podium we'll take the sweep that's we'll make a nice uh, picture for the website uh, this is the second one i lost with five to go to uh to a teammate steph got me at, at usa i guess i gotta get better at that five to go <laughs> part but uh, yeah, thanks Chris and Justin for the for the support. Everybody supporting each other and racing each other as clean as they can. The host skater and uh, Arts Barbershop watching at home. And thanks to you for putting these on. And man, when you get that, when you get Chris coming at you like that, it's like uh, like 
some monster jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger things. Uh, this is by my mirror all night now. It's in the in the windshield, but uh, I got sidetracked. Uh, thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to Steve for putting it on. Awesome, AJ. Well, uh, congrats on second place. Uh, you're getting closer and closer. I think you're going to be able to close it out one of these times uh, in the next couple races. So we look forward to another strong run and catching up with you next week. All right, thanks. All right, so that was our second place finisher, AJ Hamill. We're going to bring in our winner here tonight. That's Chris Stump taking his third victory of the season. Chris, this is Adam in the booth. You got a copy? Yeah, go ahead. Well, Chris, you stole it away from your teammate here tonight. And uh, a little bit of contact, but it uh, looked like you guys raced each other very clean throughout the, uh, the whole race here. So uh, what did you find there in those last few laps that allowed you to get by? Chris, you got me? Yep, you got a copy. Uh, yep, I hear you now. All right, sorry about that. Hey, no problem. Um, I usually uh, struggle uh, that mid, mid race uh, pace here. And um, for whatever reason, at the end, um, you know, I, I just let Justin and uh, AJ kind of go at it there for for a good portion of it to where I, I really couldn't keep up and, and uh, fight with them. So I just think I'm, I had a little bit of the right rear left on the car still to where uh, they are both really struggling to get off of uh, get off the corner. Yeah, I saw when you finally made the move, you, uh, you cut it down to the inside, kind of diamonding the corner. And it seemed like nobody else could do that at that point as everybody had kind of shifted up to that second groove. Um, so you definitely did a good job preserving the tires, um, at least for those last handful of laps. Uh, did you want to have to move your teammate, or did you uh, did you plan on racing him as clean as you could? Oh, it was a total mistake, um, and I wouldn't mind moving him out of the way. I think we do <laughs> see each other in these fun runs uh, and stuff. But um, yeah, just running in on the bottom, you know, not running that lane the entire race on the inside of someone. Um, I thought I backed out way early because the last thing I wanted to do was blow the corner and drive us both through the fence but uh locked up brakes and and doored them pretty hard which uh which sucks i don't like to win like that but uh that's kind of the deal here yeah the, it's kind of the way you have to race here anyways but uh the, i think the track conditions being so hot uh played a factor in the the tire wear and also making it just difficult to uh you know keep it in the lane uh, we saw a handful of drivers farther back uh slide up in the center and off of turn four uh, so it was a pretty consistent theme throughout the night. Um, not a lot of passes made, but uh, you made a critical one there to uh, close this one out and take your third victory of the season. So uh, congratulations on that. And we head to uh, Oxford next week. Uh, what are your thoughts on going out there? When I told you last week that Martinsville was probably my least favorite short track <laughs> in the sim, I forgot about Oxford. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> I haven't had uh, stellar results there in the past. Um, I'm not sure if I've run a super late there, um, but I know the limited lates, um, I've really struggled the, the few races I've run there, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll hope that it's uh, hot and slick. I uh, like a free car and um, just uh, survival there, you know, it's the same thing. You know, not, not a lot of opportunities to pass and you probably have to move someone out of the way to, uh, to get around them. Yep, we heard uh, kind of the same thing from your teammates. So I think it should be a pretty interesting race. Justin said that, uh, you know, track position is very important, but uh, there might be some passes made as the run goes on. So uh, I, I think we look forward to seeing you make your way to the front like you do uh, pretty much each and every week. So uh, before we let you go to celebrate tonight's victory, um, you know, closing this one out, uh, taking it from your teammate uh, in uh, dramatic fashion, uh, anybody you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, I just want to congratulate all my teammates, um, Justin and AJ, and um, them for teammates with uh, Jamie and Keith and some other leagues. So I have uh, quite a few teammates in the field. Uh, I want to thank Steven. As always, putting this on, we had a good car count tonight, so that was nice to see. And uh, I want to thank you again in the booth and uh, give a shout out to my brother who I think is watching tonight. So just want to say hey. And that's about it. Awesome, Chris. Well, uh, congratulations on another victory here this season. 
uh, go celebrate, and uh, we will catch up with you next week. Thanks, Adam. That was your winner here tonight. That's Chris Stump taking victory number three uh, in the V-Speed Challenge here for the American Sim Racing Championship. Uh, he has won three out of the six races, I believe, so uh, really making a name for himself and uh, moving back up through the standings after missing a race uh, earlier in the season. So Chris Stump takes the victory. We're going to run through the rest of the results here for tonight's race. Uh, Chris Stump taking the victory in that number 98 McDonald's uh, Toyota Camry Super Late Model. Congratulations once again to Chris. A.J. Hamill, his teammate, uh, getting moved out of the way with five to go and uh, just uh, comes up a little bit short. But uh, he has had a string of very solid finishes and uh, may take over the points lead. We're going to have to see how things shake out. Justin McDuff uh, had a great run going, uh, battling with his two teammates, made a little bit of a mistake there coming out of turn two and uh, ends up uh, the third and final podium spot, but great run nonetheless. Austin Thiel, a quiet fourth place, made his way uh, forward uh, from the back of the pack, starting uh, shotgun on the field, but a good run for him. Brian Hacker making his first start here, he finishes fifth. Jamie Christensen, your points leader, uh, led the first 20 laps of the race, but uh, kind of fell back, uh, losing the handle on that car uh, to finish sixth. Keith Dunn finishing seventh here tonight. Mike Holtzclaw uh, finishing in eighth. Chris Samard, um, interesting pitch strategy from him, finishing in ninth. Stephen Parks rounds out the top ten. And uh, let's see, only a couple more drivers on the field. Looks like Scott Yost uh, finishing five laps down in 11th. Not sure uh, what happened to him there in the uh, closing laps. Maybe making a pit stop on the last lap uh, or potentially some contact. Uh, finishes 11th, but uh, Mitchell Rounds did not take the field and uh, finishes 12th here tonight. So uh, that has been the Paperclip 75, round number six of the American Sim Racing Championship V-Speed Challenge. We thank you so much for tuning in here on V-Speed. Um, we are live on Twitch and YouTube. You can find us here each and every Wednesday bringing you the American Sim Racing Championship. You can find us here on Tuesdays, bringing you the Outlaw Dirt Series Hoosier UMP Modifieds. Uh, very interesting and different series. You won't see a lot of dirt racing um, broadcast from iRacing, but uh, definitely some great racers over there. And I believe we have uh, some of the Ford Entertainment Group iRacing Flea Market Series races coming up next month in August. So uh, probably going to be a couple weeks until that next broadcast, but... Uh, those are on Monday nights, and uh, definitely some great action over there as well. Uh, if you like tonight's broadcast, please hit that like button on YouTube. Uh, if you are watching on Twitch, please hit that follow button. Uh, we would really appreciate it. Um, it helps us out quite a lot. And uh, on YouTube, if you'd like to subscribe or comment, um, if you enjoyed the broadcast, we would really appreciate that as well. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, until next time, have a good night.